thought it was sweet, man. Fuck with my fucking cows. Errol Spence post-accident looks to be in some of the best shape that he's been in before a fight in the last few years. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family, we work. Sign up for my Patreon using my link below. It does help the channel in a phenomenal way when you guys click on that link. You can use Patreon. I'm doing the group sessions or you can become a YouTube channel member. Virtually the same perks and I appreciate it. Let's get it. Ego Weight Watchers, AKA Ill, where I give you guys a look into the fighter lifestyle before, after progress pictures, especially when they have a fight coming up. Errol Spence Jr. It's rumored he's going to fight Danny Garcia from all sources. You know, we've been hearing this from different people and reporters. And Al Bernstein was talking about it recently, who works with Showtime and Premier Boxing Champions. And it looks like it's going to happen. Only thing we're waiting on is an official announcement. I think in the pandemic, they have a little bit more to sort out and sift through terms of venue will there be a crowd you know ultimately for a fight like this fights like Gervonta, leo santa cruz errol spence danny garcia these would be fun fights for fans so i think they would try to maximize it by getting some form or some symbol semblance of a crowd if at all possible however i had to make this video i'm gonna stay on top of it pause but errol spence looks to be in good shape now the thing I like about Errol Spence, you know, aside from the obvious things, his career, his performances, building his brand, is I like when a man can say something, stick to his guns, be a stickler for that, and he really believes in that, and he can ultimately, I guess, execute what he's saying. I believe actions speak much louder than words. So Errol Spence, post-accident, he looks dialed in. He looks focused. He looks like he's spinning. I don't know. It's just like, I guess you have that come to Jesus talk when you go through th something like that. And it makes you appreciate what you have, what you almost lost, things like that. And Errol Spence did a lot of interviews once he was feeling better and able to talk and whatnot. And one of the things he says career wise is just bad mistakes, not being disciplined. You know, he talked about his weight weight fluctuating in his training camps ahead of the Mikey Garcia, Sean Porter fight. Those are big fights for his career. Those are meaningful fights for his career. So that's not a good sign if this if the fighter is saying that for those fights, there's a chance he wasn't a hundred percent. Now I know in boxing there's a lot of camps and situational things, injuries, nagging injuries and stuff, where nobody's really a hundred percent, but Aside from like nagging injuries or, you know, my shoulder feels tweak or my knee is giving me problems, stuff like that. These are all Errol Spence's, uh, I guess, vices were a little bit more man-made. You know what I mean? Like staying up late, eating good, you know, things like that. So the turnaround has been magnificent from Errol Spence. He is looking like he's living up to everything he says that he had made mistakes in before you see what i'm saying and for me i could respect it errol spence is under 30 years old he's a young man and we all make mistakes so i'm not here to judge and, and say what i could have or should have did we're all different people and some people have to learn different but i i really believe that errol spence has at least so far he's learned his lesson and he seems like he don't seem like he's doing too much i haven't seen one clip or one video where 
it looked like he was quote unquote back to his old ways or you know just being in some stuff ahead of a big fight and most importantly what we could see visually like for me i'm pretty good with the eye test i can you know get a i've stood next to a lot of these fighters plus i know my height i know how about how big they are i know their stature i see a lot of these fighters at multiple fights obviously not right now in the pandemic but i'm able to compute and i've always been pretty good with this computing about approximately what category or range somebody weighs you know just because you've been in the gym you, you've seen it a, a lot and you can you know i've just gotten good with that from the eye test and errol spence even when he was letting his weight get higher he never looked sloppy like i, I think there's guys like ricky hatton who was in his off season he would get kind of sloppy like big errol spence didn't get like that he just looked more like a i don't know more like a running back or something he just looked bigger you see what i'm saying he still looked athletic he just didn't look as dialed in and he didn't look 147 so for him to be on this horse and the pictures you've seen throughout this video and whatnot and he's challenging himself to get back this is this is a good space that I can imagine mentally because Danny Garcia is no joke and there's a lot of questions and again different people have different motivators like you look at Tyson Fury he said one of his motivations was people were counting him off they were counting him out and sometimes that's what it takes Errol Spence hasn't been in this predicament in a minute and funny enough nobody in the ring has put him there nobody in the in the ring has like beat him to the point where people have doubts on his ability but based on the car wreck that has created a circumstance or a situation where people gotta watch and tune into his next fight and they ultimately don't know what it's gonna be you can think you know but nobody truthfully knows until we actually see it showing is proving you know what i mean so i think this is just um awaken the sleeping giant with errol spence jr and it's pushed him to kind of before he was a champion when he was fighting chris algeri his his weight looked like he kept it down i would see him at fights stuff like that because he's he was super hungry trying to earn his way through the ibf route but you start touching them m's and getting celebrity friends and getting invited to movie premieres or clubs or host clubs and get paid you know just you got rapper friends all types of stuff you know how that life goes so i like where errol spence's head is at pause i think um he's in a good spot danny garcia i think a lot of people are sleeping on him i don't think this is a cakewalk for errol spence regardless of if he was in a a car wreck or not and i definitely don't think it's a cakewalk for danny garcia it's a very interesting stylistic matchup i'm gonna say it like that very interesting on both ways on one one angle errol spence is like mean and relentless so i want to see how danny garcia deals with someone with that type of power and boxing ability he showed you that in the mikey garcia fight but also with that mean streak to it like amir khan was he was providing Danny Garcia a lot of pressure, but he his power to me is not like an Errol Spence. So he had the speed like, ish, 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 ish. And he was throwing a lot of punches, but I don't think Danny was getting hurt. I think Danny was just kind of blinded and intimidated a little bit by the speed, but he was still shooting the, the hook, the no look hook and stuff like that. But Errol Spence has the type of power and volume that you gotta know what you're doing if he's in the, you know, in the kitchen making noise so very interesting and then for Errol, i think it's obvious as i've said in the video errol spence is coming off of an accident people have questions about that and danny is very good with timing underrated chin underrated resume just underappreciated fighter as a whole so i look forward to this fight it was supposed to happen in january and you know i want to see it officially announced but kudos to errol spence keeping his weight down ego weight watchers i think this is a big one you know errol spence has the opportunity to in essence pick up where he left off and continue his journey like and show people put the the accident behind him and show people that a focused errol is a super dangerous errol you know and i think with all that's going on in the world with the rona and different things like that these fighters they should be on their grind you know nothing's promised 
little situations like this nobody knows Errol Spence has an opportunity and Danny they both have the opportunity here on a pay-per-view on Fox to make a lot of money make a lot of money so they got to keep themselves safe keep themselves in the house limit you know the contacts because Showtime just had uh, the Angelo Leo Fulton fight is now canceled and they have to sub in someone for Fulton because he tested positive with the Rona and you know people would hate to see that for an even bigger fight so they got to just keep themselves safe uh Danny Garcia and Errol Spence already look like they're training so it looks like they know something that we don't and we're just waiting for the official announcement looking forward to it let me know what you guys think Errol Spence looks very focused and back hungry and back disciplined with his weight so shout out to him for that ego weight watchers let me know how I did in this video Drop all your thoughts in the form of a comment. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.